Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I have a very fun video. This is part of a collaboration with my friend Olga Heldwein. I will be sharing three cards using three specific stamps and she will share three more cards using the same stamp sets. We both also have a giveaway so make sure to visit my blog and learn all about it for a chance to win many of these stamp sets. I am going to introduce you today to a new European company. This is called All and Create and um, their products are also available through Simon Says Stamp. So let's start with number 53. This is a stamp set with these two adorable monsters and uh, they even have uh, hats and moustaches that you can use. What I love about these stamps is that they don't have a face and they give you different options that you can stamp to give uh, your monsters their own character. Let's move on to the next stamp set. This is number 51. These are uh, all and create stamp sets actually don't have a name. They have numbers for now. So this is uh, full of uh, adorable creatures such as a bunny, a bear, an elephant, a panda and many more. And they also give you different options to create your own scenes such as balloons and gifts and even party hats. And here is number 19. This is probably my favorite if I had to pick just one. It comes with those two adorable uh, monsters and uh, one of them is really angry, I think. And uh, the other one is blowing uh, bubbles. And they also give you this uh, lovely heart, heart. Now, I am going to use those three stamp sets later on. And these were all designed by Olga Heldwein. Now, they also have uh, other types of uh, stamps such as borders and uh, bigger and smaller stamps as you can see here. These are great for your art journaling if you do that and I really love those for that. And if you take a good look you will see that some of their designs come in bigger and smaller versions such as 39 and uh, 27. I like that they have these artistic looking uh, stamps and uh, here is another border. This is number 29 and you will find links to everything down below so you can check them out. So for my collaboration today with Olga, I'm going to use these three stamps to create three different cards and she's going to do the same. So hopefully we are going to inspire you and give you more ideas on how you can use these stamp sets. So let's start with the first card for today. I'm going to stamp my little monster using archival ink on watercolor paper and then I will color my image using my Aquaflow Nuvo pens. These are watercolor pens and I'm going to work with them and my brush, my water brush. Instead of coloring directly with these markers, I always like to apply a little bit of that watercolor on my glass mat and then pick it up with my um, uh, water brush. This way I can control how much of uh, that uh, color I apply on my image and at the same time I get a more pale look. Of course you can choose to color directly on your image with those pens if you want to have more vibrant colors. Now I'm mixing three different colors for my monster so it doesn't look so flat. It goes really quickly and I really love the result. Now I'm using my scissors to go all around that monster and cut him out. I am not going to cut out along the black lines. I'm making my life easier and I'm leaving a white border around the monster. Now for my sentiment, I white embossed on black cardstock the sentiment that says you drag on me crazy. I have cut it out in the shape of a banner and I'm going to place that on top of my panel. Now my panel is a scrap paper that I have from a previous uh, project and that's actually Salty Ocean Distress Ink just smoothed all over the place. I also stamped the bubbles as if they are coming out from his mouth. Now I'm using my watercolor brush here to lift some of the color. This is actually Distress Oxide ink. It reacts with water and I can easily blot those bubbles so they look lighter than the background. Again remember that I'm working on a watercolor paper which makes this technique really easy. Finally I'm going to stick this panel with foam squares at the back on top of uh, a pattern paper and this is black and white stripes pattern paper. I think it's by my favorite things. And then I'm going to stick the whole thing on a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm also adding uh, some clear Nuvo drops over those bubbles just to give them some shine. And my first card is ready. For my second card I'm working with number 53 stamp set by All and Create. 
I'm going to stamp both the monsters, I'm working on a watercolor paper again and I'm stamping with black archival ink. Since I had my aqua flow markers on my table, I decided to use those again to color in my monsters, so that's why I'm doing again the same technique. Now, these monsters don't have a face, which I absolutely love, and they give you, I think, five different options of faces. So here I am picking two different ones for my monsters and I have also dried the moustache which really makes them so funny. But I didn't use that image uh, on my card today. So after coloring everything with my Aquaflow markers, just like I did for the first card, I cut out this panel by using one circle die to cut out three different windows. For my card I'm going to use both the frame that I have created as well as the little circles. So nothing goes to waste here. I'm going to color all those three circles with my Distress Oxide inks and I'm going to use uh, yellows I'm going to use warm lipstick for the second circle and cracked pistachio for the last uh, circle so I pretty much uh, match the color palette of my monsters now I'm adding foam tape at the back of my panel and of course you can turn this easily into a shaker card, however I'm going just for a window card today. Now I can stick this panel on top of my card base and then I'm going to place inside those circles the colored ones. This will provide a nice background so I can nest those uh, monsters inside my windows. The yellow monster is going inside the green window, so I do end up having a little bit of contrast there. The, the aqua is going to go inside the yellow window. And finally on the pink window is where I am going to nest my sentiment. I have already stamped and embossed it with a white embossing powder on a piece of black cardstock and my card is ready. And now let's move on to the last card for today. First I'm working on this uh, piece of white cardstock to create my background and I'm using this stencil, this is by my favorite things. I'm applying some Distress Oxide ink and that's Broken China and I'm applying it with a brush. This is a Distress brush by Tim Holtz. It's a new product that hasn't been available yet but you can pre-order it if you want to. In any case you can do this technique just by using your uh, good old uh, blending tool. A very subtle looking background and that's exactly what I wanted to create. Now I'm going to do some stamping. I'm working with alcohol friendly black ink. I am going to stamp this uh, panda and then I'm going to give him a balloon. But the idea here was to make him look as if he's flying by holding the balloon and I didn't quite like how this is looking. It doesn't seem too natural to me. So I'm going to give it a second try. I'm going to give him the balloon again and I think that looks better. Now in the stamp set there are a couple of uh, presents which I am going to stamp and I want those uh, presents to fly with balloons as well. Now I finished with the stamping and I have all the elements that I'm going to need for creating my little sky scene here. I'm going to use my alcohol markers to color everything the balloons, the gifts and I'm also going to add a touch of uh, grey shadow on my panda. I'm also going to give him some pink cheeks. He is very easy to color, you don't really need to do anything. And once I finish with the coloring I will go ahead and use my scissors to cut out all the images. Of course I'm going to make my life easy and cut out everything leaving a white border. And now it's finally time to assemble my card, so first I'm going to stamp the sentiment, this comes from the same stamp set and it says this is your day. And now I will use some foam squares at the back of all those cutouts and stick them on my sky. The only thing you need to remember when you do such a card is to make sure that nothing is aligned, so all of your balloons are in different heights. It really makes it look more interesting if they are not all in the same line. Now this card is going to a little guy who has his birthday next week so I wanted to have a background that is really colorful and it actually matches all the colors that I have for my balloons. I'm also going to add a few dots here and there just to embellish my card a little bit more and my card is ready. 
So here are some close-up photos of the last card that I made for today. Now don't forget that this is part of a collaboration with Olga, who is actually the designer of these three stamps that I used to create these three cards. She is going to share another video featuring the three stamps and sharing three different cards. So make sure to join her, you will find the link down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Also make sure to visit my blog because you will find all the details there to enter the giveaway. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.